we reflect on a hundred years on the birth of really the father of Azerbaijan. Haider Aliyev, who established peace and prosperity in Azerbaijan, pushed for its development and its uh, position in the world. I think the celebration goes not only to our Azerbaijani friends, but also for many of Georgians. We are really thankful for his visionary position for Azerbaijan, for Georgia, for Caucasus. For the example that he and President Shevardnadze have set to show what the cooperation between nations mean. Respect to each other's interests, respect to the region, and future of perspective for their people. Speaking about President Haider Aliyev is, is very emotional for me as a Georgian. I remember very vividly uh, the role of, of, of President and not only nation building of uh, Azerbaijan as, as a country, but the role that he played for the whole region, for my own country as well, that comradeship, uh, that, that close brotherly relations between our two nations, which have very long lasting historical roots, have been reinvigorated, revitalized, and then all that foundation for strategic partnership of two very close nations have been consolidated with his personal efforts. Uh, Haider Aliyev will be seen like a person who was really significant and who established the modern Azerbaijan. And he will be always remembered uh, in the history of Azerbaijani people like a very significant personality. It was extremely difficult during the turmoil of this forming of USSR to establish a new country and uh, to put foundation of the new nation in the specific historical context. No new nation in terms of history, but in the, that very specific historical context of this forming USSR. That was extremely difficult. He was very brave. He was very determined and focus on his historical work. I appreciate very much everything what he has done. I would like to recall a special historical event in which I had the privilege of participating shortly after my election as the president of Latvia in the summer of 1999. The then president of Ukraine, President Kuchma, had organized a conference in the city of Yalta, on the Crimean Peninsula. And on that occasion, I also had a bilateral meeting with President Haidar Aliyev. And I very much learned from him the particular circumstances of the countries in the Caucasus, of the kinds of difficulties that they had overcome in firmly establishing their independence in having to fight for their territory and in fact having to give up uh, parts of their territory, sadly, because of the intervention of the Russian Federation and its army on the side of the Armenian forces. But he also explained the transition process from the point of view of a statesman who had been in high, of, uh, in high office during Soviet times already and who was then able to, in many ways, understand the snares and pitfalls that such a transition from autocracy to democracy uh, entailed and how difficult democracy was to achieve in certain parts of the world because it did not have any historical roots or precedents. Well, not so many people in the history of the world that could be uh, called the founding father of their own countries. Uh, it's a privilege. 
but the, this privilege needs a wisdom and experience. How to do that? You need to create a vis vision of your country, and then you have to convince your people that they are ready to have their own state, and they will be in the future proud of their state. So that's uh, what uh, Haider Aliyev did. And I think not only Azerbaijani people, but me myself, are very grateful to him because it put Azerbaijan on the global map. President Aliyev, Ilham Aliyev, just continued the path on his father's legacy. And the creation of Nizami Ganjavi International Center as a platform for global Boko Forum which is becoming some kind of geopolitical Davos, is actually made on one great gift that Azerbaijan has, which is 12th century thinker, poet, sage, great Nizami Ganjavi. So I think that what we are witnessing today uh, from Global Baku Forum, Nizami Ganjavi, leadership of President Ilham Aliyev. This is just something which was possible, just like today's Azerbaijan, who has a future to be not only a regional leader, but some kind of, be some kind of uh, lighthouse for dialogue, respect, learning and understanding in broader sense. And that was all possible because of 100 years ago in Azerbaijan, Haider Aliyev was born and grabbed historical moment as a true leader.